Okay, so this is our plate that has um, the phage Phi X174, and it has E. coli B in it. And what I want you to notice is there's a good lawn of bacteria all over the surface. You can ignore that glob. We had some auger that didn't melt like it was supposed to. Um, but there's a nice lawn, and there are no plaques anywhere on this plate. That goes back to host specificity. That phage, Phi X174, can infect E. coli C, but it cannot infect E. coli B, and so E. coli B was able to grow in a nice lawn all the way across the plate. This is our plate that has Phi X174, and then the 10 to the third concentration of that phage with E. coli C instead of E. coli B. Now, E. coli C is susceptible to this phage, and you can see the plaques that have developed where the cells have actually lysed in this nice little ring all the way around. Um, so in this case, the virus was able to pop the bacterial cells and kill them, so our lawn has these patches of dead material all through it because the phage killed the bacteria.